do have cringe of the day, Mary. You sent uh, you sent me this one a little bit ago. Yeah, Let's this watch is adult this. Adult kindergarten. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's just get this over with, shall we? Here we go. I also saw a video as well over the weekend of an adult play place. Like, think Chuck E. Those Cheese were called or something, bars but back for in adults. The day. And these yeah. are the same people who hate on anyone that has children for increasing their carbon footprint. Yeah. Um, I, I suppose on one hand, like, no, no, I got nothing here. This is, uh, <laughs> this is weird. Uh, people in the comments were saying uh, yeah. the worst part is they're shuffling out of the room at the end and they look like they're actually overgrown kindergartens. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, this, honestly, is like a little black pillar. A little bit? A little black. Killing. I think it's a lot. Uh, this a lot is of it. Uh, so this is a lot of uh, a lot of you agreeing that this is sexual, but it really doesn't have that vibe. I think it's just soy. No, it's yeah, it's literally just adult children and redditors. But they're but they're like able-bodied adults, right? This isn't like this is what they would call a coping mechanism. Okay. For how hard their laptop job is. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, th but this isn't like these weren't. These are the people who are going to watch the Play-Doh movie. These weren't developmentally. Disabled no, people. No. These were just adults who wanted to go do kindergarten again. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you miss kindergarten? Not really. I don't I miss don't. school. I don't miss school. No. I, I spent all... In fact, I, I was just... Um, just the other day, I was talking to someone who was uh, basically saying like they were starting school again soon, like the starting college again soon, and I got like secondhand sadness at like... Because <laughs> I hated going back to school. Yeah. Like, I hated that. And I also said secondhand sadness would be the name of my, my emo band if I started <laughs> one. But, you know, that's, that's how I felt. I was, like, I was like, oh, I'm depressed and I'm not even the one going back to school. Yeah. But I, I guess this is what these people want. They're also the same people that say uh, you should go to therapy. But it's like, it really is. It is just the, the, the desperate desire to not be responsible for your own actions, to, for, even for just 15 minutes to imagine that somebody else is, is uh, currently your guardian, your guardian and taking yeah. care of you. And they're just... I have said there should be like hospital themed hotels where you just Whoa. sit on cheap linens and watch like Daytime Wheel television. of Fortune and get served apple juice, right? Like, that would be kind of cool. Oh, okay. I don't know about adult kindergarten, do you think but like... Do you, think oh, this is, <laughs> do you think this is COVID related? Did just like... did? I did see people wearing their masks in that video. So do you think no like it's there. part of like, it's just in a society where nonstop 24 seven fear porn broke everyone's brain. We have to worry about, you know, the fallout from something like that, which is understandable that, you know, people that may not have the strongest sense of self or willpower are going to look to escape the reality that's been painted around them by the corporate press at it, you know, in any way, shape or form they can. And what's going to come out of that is weird people in our society are going to find a way to make money off of it. I mean, do that by like, I don't know, unplugging for a while, like make a garden, get a hobby yeah. instead of this. It's weird. It's not even like a gimmicky thing where they were drinking wine. Like, you know, those those places where you drink wine and make pottery or like paint, yeah. paint by numbers or whatever. Yeah. Like even that would be more respectable than this. Yeah, like I'm not. They're like eating crayons and drinking Soylent. One of the comments is everyone in this video is in a polyamorous relationship. Literally, yeah. Yeah, like this is very Portland. It's it's very Portland. It's, giving. it's not it's not good. It's not funny. It's not <laughs> fun. I've been I've been rewatching Grimm, and one of the things that I find funny about the show Grimm is like uh, it maybe has the most unrealistic version of Portland you'll ever. You'll ever see what, like it's actually nice. It's kind of nice. <laughs> like it's not completely dysfunctional, other than the the random, you know. Um, I'm animal sure it's attacks. nice if you're if you're rich. Yeah, and you yeah. can get away from all of the. And, and like, I guess, what people. would what would 15 years ago, 20 years ago, what would have been these people's escape? 
from from their daily lives. I mean, maybe they wouldn't need one. I mean, but everybody needs something. Everybody <laughs> nobody, needs... nobody acted like this after 9-11. So I don't know if I believe the COVID. Is that true? Hypothesis. Chat, what do you think? Did nobody act like this after 9-11? No. I, I, I don't know what... Uh... We just went into full patriotism mode, like well, turbo patriotism. It was yeah. awesome. Uh, it's, uh, you know, we, we love that though. You know, freedom yeah. isn't free. Get your, get your, we did, we did make freedom fries a thing though. So we are, we do, we can call ourselves responsible for that, for thinking that calling them freedom fries was better than French fries because America. I didn't know, know that that was a thing until you told even me. Even me, who is not a globalist. I like the red, white, and blue also on the house. Oh too. yeah. Oh yeah. This is a, an old, uh, nice, uh, replica of the old U.S. Olympic hats. Love this hat. Um, because I've been watching, I watch a lot of, uh, old, um, like old videos of Kobe and, uh, I like, <laughs> I like videos where like he was on team USA and you imagine that there was a time when like American athletes actually had pride in their country and it's kind of scary to think that's just gone now. And, uh, a lot of them just don't, I do see, see, I do see some still have it like a lot of oddly enough because we were we were talking about the gymnasts recently i was talking with somebody about gymnasts recently because as far as i'm concerned the the men and the women who do like the stunt cheerleading stuff the stunt gymnastics that stuff's crazy and as somebody who does a sport where like you're entirely responsible for whether you succeed or not like if i fall or land a trick i'm responsible for it you but if you're like on a team of people you have to trust them the the idea the idea that like you would be able to you'd put yourself in the hand you put your well-being in the hands of somebody else is just like uh, for something like that like (laughs) like if it's you know if it's work or if you're in the military or if it's something like that that's one thing but as a sport it's just crazy to me like Mm -hmm. i mean i obviously it's a little bit like that in team sports you know especially if you play football or something like that if you're a quarterback you're a lot of times your safety is in the hands of your you know your line but it's just crazy right and like i I do feel like a lot of those athletes still seem to have a good amount of patriotism but they seem to fall in the same category as me to me as like the random sorority girls who are just kind of blissfully unaware of like the cultural revolution going on in this country right now (laughs) i feel good for them like they don't know that they don't know that this video is a thing and they're better off for it yeah right like they, they don't have to worry about the fact that there are adults who are out you know going to daycare it makes me happy that there are still normies yeah well, that, I miss it, right? I, I miss a world where, like, I still consider myself pretty normy. I do. Like, I don't consider. You're not. I consider myself pretty normy. I don't have. You go, keep like, keep telling yourself that. I'm I'm pretty normy. I'm I, I don't I don't I don't have like uh, I don't have the crazy wall Look, with, like a picture of like compared uh, to everyone else in society, we are extremely online, and we have the excuse that it's part of our job, but. It's just a fact. You can't. You can be a normie, but you once you you're not a normie anymore. You can't go back. <laughs> no, it's, I, it's I, a point I, of no return that you reach. I wrote. Uh, I wrote an article for for Timcast that I ended up deciding not. Like I never. I never really did the re-edits to it. But it was basically like you can. You can't. You can't hawk up the red pill. Like whether like you should it, still publish it. Like that that term is is not really a hundred percent accurate for what we're talking about. But like once you see it, you can't unsee it. And you're kind of burdened with that knowledge forever and how you handle it tells a lot about who you are, I think. And like for me, I've just become more sarcastic and I care, like I, I've forced myself to care less because to care more would be too painful in a lot of respects. So it's like, it's easier to deal with what's going on if you just, like I said, if you can laugh all the way to the gulag, I guess that's your own, that's your cross to bear, right? But you yeah. see a lot of this stuff going on. You should publish that. And it's uh, and it's depressing, but at the same time, uh, it speaks to just how dangerous it can be when people don't seek out information and look for what's going on in the world. But then at the same time, there's so much misinformation and disinformation out there that uh, a lot of people wouldn't know that these people were out here going to do it. But these people w- would say, like, you're, they're not hurting anyone. No, they're not hurting anyone. Technically, they're not doing anything wrong, but they're a barometer of our society, right? They show you where things are going. Mm-hmm. Like how the culture has changed significantly. And maybe that has more, maybe this has more to do with the fact that here in the West, as much as we want to complain about the fact that nobody can afford a home and that life is uh, unaffordable, which in a lot of cases it is, we still don't face the serious physical threats that people in past lives did. 
and past it generations. It shows do. that we're extremely yeah. pacified. Whether or not we're going to adult kindergarten, we're still, you know, pacified with the algorithms that we scroll through. Yeah. With uh, all of our material needs being met abundantly. Everything that you uh, want, you have in excess, and everything that you actually need to be a functioning, thriving adult person, you have a shortage of. Mm -hmm. Like, community and religion and uh you know a house that you own uh and it's all a job kind of, that doesn't make you want to kill yourself and there's no cultural identity here and anymore. yeah and a I, culture. I saw i was like when we were skating over the weekend we went by the school and it said like the sign outside of the school it said like uh like this so-and-so group for like global citizens yeah, Global Citizen is an NGO. What was that? Dude, like, I was like, I read that. I'm like, what? In the Global Citizen is the NGO that's getting all of these Gen Zers to vote Democrat. Yeah, dude. And I was like, I read it. And I was like, what in the <laughs> They're like partner Partnering with Billie Eilish and stuff. Yeah, dude. To, that's... to get young people to vote for Biden. To do that so that they can all go so to, they can to, go so, to adult kindergarten. So they can go to adult kindergarten together. Not and then think about inflation. I suppose the, the upside for us is we get to talk about it. So maybe Maybe <laughs> like there, you know, half of half a dozen of one, you know, half of one, half a dozen of the other. Like we're all right. We're like, we'll have stuff to talk about, but it's just depressing. <laughs> it's very yeah. depressing. So thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.